In this video, I will show you how to connect your CDA slash EGA or RGBI to a HDMI capable monitor. You may remember I did a video on how the CGA to SCARTS Pro let you connect CGA, EGA or any other RGBI source to a SCART TV or monitor. You may also remember my video about the HDMI scaler I bought on eBay that was soldered so badly that it could not use RGB signal as a source. I have now bought a new HDMI scaler from eBay for about 20 euros. The seller claims that it supports all these resolutions and formats. Does it work with a SCART signal? Well, we'll test it now. To test it, I have uh, my good mate, the Euro PC. As I showed you in uh, an earlier video, the CGA to SCART Pro converts CGA or EGA to SCART. With the HDMI scaler, I'm hoping to convert the signal from SCART to HDMI. As we can see, the colors look exactly as they should. Uh, especially note the brown color, which is uh, brown, as it should be. Uh, we have three buttons on the scaler. Uh, the first one is to choose which input you want to use, HDMI or SCART. We are, of course, using the SCART input. On the outside, it only has one output, and that is HDMI. So you cannot, there's no button for changing the output. But uh, you can choose between PAL or NTSC, uh, that means 50 Hz or 60. I'm using 60 here, and if we turn it to 50, we still get a, basically the same picture. Uh, but uh, as well, I will show you in a demo afterwards, uh, the best is to use 60 Hz if possible. Um, we have a button to change the output resolution. I'm now using a full uh, HD uh, resolution. If we press one more, it goes to the lowest, 800 times 600, and uh, 1024 times 768, 1280 times 1024, and 1280 times 720. And then we are back to the 1920 times 1080. Here's a CGA demo that uh, uses 16 colors and uh, it looks very smooth. Uh, I'm filming this with the 60 Hertz uh, camera um, and uh, the screen is very smooth. If I turn this to 50 Hertz we will see, at least I can see it here, maybe not on the video, but this is now uh, stuttering. The scroll on the, the scroll is uh, not looking good at all, it's jumping. So that is probably because the CGA output is in 60 Hertz, or maybe 30, I'm not sure. Anyway, put it back to 60, and it's all good. Also note that the input is NTSC, so it recognizes the input signal as a 60 Hertz signal. You may remember from the CGA to SCART Pro video I made earlier that the CGA to SCART sends a signal to the monitor telling it to receive or uh, expect a 4-3 aspect ratio signal. The CGA, uh, no, the HDMI scaler uh, don't recognize that signal, so I had to force it to use 4-3 mode uh, by using the remote. This is my uh, favorite uh, Pac-Man clone, uh, Paku Paku. It uh, is a CGA game and uh, it uses 16 colors. And as you can see, the yellow and the brown color are Correct. Okay, I have uh, started the game and uh, yeah, it plays of course perfectly. Uh, the big question is, do the CGA to SCART Pro or the HDMI scaler 
uh, give us any lags. There are two devices now that uh, the signal are passing before it uh, is received by the monitor. Uh, I must say that I've uh, played a few games now with this uh, HDMI scale connected and uh, I cannot say uh, that uh, there is uh, a lag. This is uh, Planet X3. I'm starting it in CGA uh, 320 times 200 and uh, just uh, started without sound. Uh, as we can see, the picture is super sharp. Um, I would say that uh, both uh, CGA to SCART and the HDMI scaler is doing a perfect job also together. And uh, we can see, we'll show you some more of the palettes. Here is another palette. I think I'll stick to this one. We'll exit the game and uh, start it again in uh, 640 times 200 just to see how that looks. Again, I'll start it uh, with no sound. And here we see that uh, the pictures are sharp. It's a bit uh, flickery maybe because of the high resolution. And here we can see the scrolling is super smooth. And uh, well, this is not the game to, to, to test lag, but uh, again, it works very well. I have uh, opened uh, both the old and the new one. This one to the left is uh, the old one. Uh, you may remember that I put a heatsink on there. Uh, if we look at the manufacturing date, it says uh, August 2014. And the new one um, have a newer date. It says 2016, also August. So um, what we can say for sure is that this one, the one I had, had a soldering uh, problem that I fixed. But uh, this one, the old one from 2014, did not work with the CGA uh, signal or the SCART signal that I provided from the CGA uh, to SCART Pro. Uh, I have no idea why it didn't work, but there was no picture at all. With the new one, everything worked as expected. We know it's a newer version. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, the same chip because, well, now I have uh, the heatsink uh, covering it. But we know that it supports uh, other or and more resolutions than the old one and uh, yeah basically it's a very good product uh, it works uh, very good for my use and uh, I'm gonna recommend uh, using it together with the CGA to SCART Pro. Your problem is uh, how to figure out which version of these you are getting because on eBay, they uh, look exactly the same and the seller does not tell us which manufacturing date uh, they have. So it's uh, basically uh, luck or chance. So to sum it up, if uh, you have a PC that uh, delivers a CGA or EGA signal, or maybe you have a Commodore 128 that also delivers a CGA signal, they are calling it RGBI, but that's the same type of signal. You can now use the SCART, uh, the CGA to SCART Pro together with this uh, HDMI scaler, and uh, you can use our HDMI TV. I'm very happy uh, how this turned out, and uh, I actually believe that this is uh, both the best quality and the cheapest way out there to uh, connect your CJEGA or Commodore 128 uh, to uh, HDMI TV. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channels. I have uh, more of uh, these types of video 
and uh, I hope to see you again.